Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography and I've got a quick tutorial for you on how to back up your Lightroom catalog, not just the metadata, but also the original photos as well. So all your raw files, all the data behind them, everything like that. I'll show you how to back those up um, so that you've got those spare copies. Uh, if you ever need them, if for some reason uh, a hard drive crashes, um, you'll have the backup copies of them since the last time you did the backup. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to go up to the little Lightroom tab and click on Catalog Settings. Now when I do this, this brings up sort of the general location, what the Lightroom catalog's called, created, all that sort of stuff. And then here you've got Backup. So where it's, you can do lots of different options, so you can do Never Backup, which I highly don't recommend doing uh, once a month, once a week, once a day, every time Lightroom exit or when Lightroom next exit. So normally I leave mine on once a month. What I'm going to do this time is every time Lightroom exits, just because I'm going to be exiting a few times and I'll uh, I'll show you how how that works. So now that I've changed the setting, I'll just close out of that. And then I will close out of Lightroom and here it's got every time, um, so you can choose when you back up, when your catalog backs up, um, but here you want uh, to test the integrity before backing up and optimize the catalog after backing up just so it clears out some of the um, excess metadata that is sort of stored in the cache of your Lightroom um, but you don't really need it um, when, when you're doing what you're doing now because it's old metadata. So what I'll do is uh, I've got where it's going to go to, so it's going to go to a second external hard drive under Lightrooms and then backups. So I'll do this, I'll cut the video, and I'll start talking again once the backup is done. Alright, so that backup is done, and what I want to show you is this file here. So I've got it in my backup section, and I'll right-click to get info and you can see it's 420.9 megabytes. Now that is a tiny file compared to what um, is in the Lightroom catalog and that obviously hasn't backed up any photos. So what I'll do now is I'm going to start up Lightroom and this will take a minute so I'll cut the video in just a second but I'm going to show you how you can export your photos from say an entire year or an entire month or something like that so that you can um, uh, you can put them all into one separate area that has all of the file negatives and everything like that. So I'll cut the video here and I'll start it up again in just a second. Alright, so I've got Lightroom open again and I've got some photos up here. But um, you can see here that I've got a section called Studio Session Jenny. Now this, is, this, this was a um, client studio shoot that I did. And um, I'll show you the basic principle on uh, how I do it on this one um, because I'm not going to do it on the 2015 file which has over 22,500 uh, photos in it which takes a very, very long time to back up. Um, so here, for example, um, what you want to do is you want to go to the collection. Now, you can't go up to all photographs and do it this way because it doesn't, uh, doesn't work that way. But if I go down here to this one, I'll right click then what I want to do is export this folder as a catalog. Now I'll click here and here it comes up as export as catalog. So I'm going to save this as studio session Jenny. So just I'm just going to call it the same thing as that. And uh, I'm going to go to here backups client files and what I've got is exporting a catalog with 67 photos and one virtual copy so I'm going to export the negative files which are the raw files um, if you built or included smart previews when you imported them or you've uh, set them up in Lightroom you can tick this I'm not going to because I didn't set it up on this one and include available previews which are just the little thumbnails so what I'm going to do is I will go to export catalog and once that exports, that's going to come up here, and then I'll show you uh, how the files look after that. So I'll cut the video, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, so this catalog's just finished exporting, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here, I'll go into Client Files, and then here I've got Studio Session Jenny, so I'll get some info, 
and here just for these just for this one backup is a 1.6 gig and compared to the 400 and something megabytes 470 megabytes or 420 um, so of the actual backup of the Lightroom metadata and the metrics and all that sort of stuff that's what goes into that backup but to get all of your files this is what you need to do you need to export it as its own catalog and then you can get all of your files in there so I'll double click there and there they are, there's the raw files from just that one shoot. And then you've got it as an LR, um, LR cat, which is a Lightroom catalog, LR data, all that sort of stuff. Um, and that's all saved in here compared to what's in here of just a single, um, single zip file with just the information but not the original raw files. So to really back it up, go into your Lightroom, right click, export this folder as a catalog that will export it as its own as with all of the raw files that are in that folder so for example if I went into 2016 I could do that and it's it's not going to take huge amounts of time because it's only 2000 but 2015 that's going to take a very long time um, to get that done so you can do it with each individual one or you can um, create folders inside. So let's just say we went to 2016 and, um, whoops. You can create a folder inside which um, you can then um, call a, a certain type of month. So 2016, you can um, create folder inside 2016, call it January, move your um, files from January, which I've got here quite a bit so been out quite quite a bit shooting um, and then you can move those under that January file and export January as its own catalog so that's how you can do it sort of month by month if you wanted to do it that way so you didn't lose any files in case something just uh, decided to um, uh, spaz out which you really don't want but this this is how you do it and back up your raw files so I hope this has helped please do like comment and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube um, and if you are watching on YouTube please check out the Lightroom Learning Center there is a uh, video there is a link in the description below not a video in the description um, there's a link in the video below in the description below to get to the Lightroom Learning Center and there there's an entire learning center that I've put together with tutorials uh, tutorials galore on how to use Lightroom, different editing techniques, um, and there's also a Facebook group. The link will be in the description as well. Um, please do join that, and I will see you in the next video.